Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to another one of my review video. Today I'm going to show you a phone, a Chinese Android phone from Doji. And this one I got from Amazon for £299. There is a lot of options on the market at the moment. And some of these Chinese phones are good on paper, but actually when you start to use it, you will find that they have flaws. My video is all about showing you what is in real life, so you don't need to waste money on products that is rubbish. So you be the judge on how good or how bad the phone is. I'm going to run through the page with the phone, obviously a little bit of unboxing. Um, I'm going to install the most common apps that you can find on uh, Google, um, plus the apps that I personally like and enjoy using. So for £300, what do you get? So this is the phone which comes in a nice package box like this. And when you flip it over, you see that there is three things in here. So you've got the charger. Now this one here is a fast charger, uh, 3.0. So uh, this one have 9 volt output as well as your normal USB um, output. So this is paired specifically to fast charge this phone. It does have that option. A uh, USB-C cable, which is quite standard for the new... Um, generation of uh, Android phone and this is the phone itself now this phone here is not for um, small hands or anyone who like a cute phone this is more like a man phone um, it already have a case applied so you don't need to buy an extra case because it's a rocket case and it has an IP69 which is waterproof now I'm going to test it out um, in the video as well because there's no point showing you what the specs say because in the real world if you get wet and uh, damaged then it's not good for anything so this one here is about 400 pound it does have two gigabyte of um, extra RAM compared to this one but um, it does everything that I want it to do but it doesn't have like wireless charging and a couple of other functions so it'll be nice to see how these two kind of uh, head to head uh, com in comparison. Okay, let's put that aside. So now this is the phone itself. Like I say, it makes of like a casing and most of the um, port does have like a plastic cover which have weather sealed on there. Um, fingerprint sensor on the side here. You've got volume button, power button, a single camera which is the kind of a selfie camera and you also have one, two and three different cameras on the back of the phone. Now this one here is marketed for worldwide, so it should work with all um, operators in the UK. It does come with like a uh, sensor thing here or connector thing here. You can buy optional um, wireless charger for this one, but I think this itself is wireless charging as well, which I'm going to test out because I do use wireless charging in my car. Uh, to switch it on, just press the button on the side here. Nice. Now while it's loading, what else is in the box here? You come with your instruction manual, an extra um, screen protector, and the pin for taking out your SIM tray. So nice uh, sharp screen, I can tell that already from uh, kind of a normal viewing distance. I can't see any pixel, which is always good. I got a really, really cheap SIM card from Asta. Uh, this is the cheapest I can find, it's a pay as you go. So I'm going to top it up with uh, maybe a five pound or something like that, just to uh, test it out. It's not as straightforward as your normal phone in terms of getting the SIM card tray out of the case here because the case is like, you know, permanent on the phone. So um, you might find it a bit tricky to take out your SIM card tray. I hope it shows in the camera because I haven't really zoomed it in, but yeah, it's, it's tiny. The touch screen is quite responsive, I have to say. No different from my um, iPhone or my Mi phone and I just let it do its stuff. So um, the SIM card is in, I set up the Wi-Fi, and uh, now just wait for it to load. If carrying on like this, I don't think I can get much of the review done because this playing game on this is actually quite fun. I mean, the resolution is like kind of like, you know, I can't really tell between this one and the other high-end model. And the gameplay is smooth. Now this is PUBG, so it's very demanding in terms of uh, graphics wise and stuff like that but kind of like you know doing it well well I think my teammate is gonna die because they're outside the zoom but that's not the point I mean the game the viewing angle is not perfect so you can't really see like a lot dimmer at the angle but as a full-on is actually pretty decent there 
Woo! Run! Hey! Woohoo! Run over! Because of the fast CPU and the graphics, there's not really any lag at all. So it's perfectly playable even with the most high demand games on the market. Oh no! Yeah, chicken dinner. Okay, so let's start the standard phone app on here, which is the camera. Camera. Maybe do a little bit of video as well. <clears throat> this is a video sample from the Doji S95, just a uh, testing of the portrait camera. This is a little test for the back rear camera of the S95 Doji phone. I seriously don't know why people use this kind of stuff. I also tested out the unlock function, so like most of the phone, this one can be unlocked by just looking at the phone. So just tell you look, just look at how quickly you unlock the phone. Almost instant. Now if I put my face away from the phone, it will not unlock. But as soon as my face is in view, it unlocks. So like one of the higher tier phones with the unlock function, this is pretty decent. Everything else works. Everything else like, you know, quite sleek. Um, this is another one of my favorite app. I use it a lot. Again, no problem whatsoever. The battery is like uh, 5000 milliamp. So it should be plenty. I mean, I've been playing games for over two hours and it dropped like, you know, 10%. So it's a really um, durable phone. Um, I think now it's time to test out the waterproof function of the phone. Now, this is the part where disclaimer comes up to say, don't try this at home. I'm only doing it on your behalf so you don't have to. Now, this one, uh, the phone say is waterproof and I trust them they are waterproof. But a lot of these, um, for example, covering, they have weather sealed in them. So I would suggest make sure that if you are by the poolside, you're doing like a little bit of splashing around and, you know, on holiday and stuff like that. Then, yeah, by all means, like, you know, use it by the poolside, knowing that, you know, a bit of getting wet should be okay. But with the IP65, let me just double check. Oh, with the IP68, this is not designed for you to go into diving or even go into deep end of the swimming pool. So, um, yeah, so I wouldn't pre take that to a diving cross or, you know, <laughs> finding Nemo, that kind of um, picture or video stuff. So I wouldn't do that. You are going to lock my phone. Yep, still unlock. The touch screen usually will stop working underwater, 
regardless of which phone it is because it does take like some electrical charge from your fingertips to be able to control it so underwater because it's conductive it wouldn't work so out of the water it will work again so the waterproof um, quite rugged case this is heavy don't get me wrong but because of the battery um, over 5000 milliamps so it's almost like you don't really need a power bank with this it should last all day um, even heavy gaming as I showed you before, games run perfectly fine. So coming to the end of my video now, just to conclude. So I have shown you this S95 2G phone. It has 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Um, I test out all the functions, so the camera works and actually works quite well. Um, Gaming-wise, there's no lag. Even on PUBG, I managed to get a chicken dinner, so there's no problem right there. Uh, tested with a uh, Call of Duty as well, so um, everything is fine. Now it does get a bit hot because of the CPU running on high speed with the game, but that's quite normal. Um, water resistant, true to the word that I did dip in water and it doesn't work afterwards, so it survived. Um, this is a very rugged foam, so I think it requires a large hand or maybe a more muscular kind of um, handling with this so you don't need a case because it kind of have a built-in case with it so um, you wouldn't put anything extra on this um, at 299 it is expensive but it's much better than the samsung a a7 i think with the standard feature because you do get a lot more feature in this phone than the standard samsung i got this from amazon so um, if you want to buy this, the link is in the description. Um, the one good thing about buying from Amazon is if there's anything wrong or anything that you're not happy with, you can always initiate a return. And they are usually very good in terms of like um, after sales care. Um, the screen is really, really nice to look at. Um, the angle in terms of um, viewing angle, I do find it slightly less than uh, my other Chinese phone. But the resolution is high. so. Um, even if you go close to it, you won't be able to see the Prixel, which is very important for me when I'm choosing my phone. Um, I hope you like this video. Like I said, if you have an, um, if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and help me grow. And I see you next time. Thank you and bye bye.